バーバーバーバーバーナナバーバーバーバーバーナナナナバーバーバーバーバーナナバーバーバーバーナナナナバーバーバーバーナナとガリロポタトリーキャニバロマニキャノチカバーバーバーバーナナ Hi boys and girls hope you're all continuing to keep well No I Things are still a wee bit strange, aren't they? I mean, schools closed, churches closed, shops are closed, cinemas closed. Lots of things are still closed. And not only that, but we're having to do school work from home. Well, I am hoping that over the next couple of weeks, with our Sunday school videos, you will know that even though church is closed, we are still thinking of you. Okay, and even though we can't meet in person in Sunday school, we're still thinking about you and we're still thinking about how we can still teach you about Jesus and teach you about God and let you know how much you're loved. Okay, now, I am sure that some of you remember from the last couple of videos that I've done, although that was a while ago, that I had a little helper, Milo. Well, there's somebody else I want to introduce you to. So where do you see who else we've got now? So boys and girls, I am sure you all remember Milo. He wanted to say hello to you all and he hopes that you're all keeping well. Well, Milo has a new friend. This is Ollie. And we've had Ollie now for a couple of months and he's great fun to have in the house. He's very, very active and he wanted to come on and say hello to you all before he starts his very important job. Now, boys and girls, you will see that we have two song choices here. We've got Our God is a Great Big God and we've got King of the Jungle. So each week, one of the dogs is going to help us choose what song we're going to sing in our Sunday School video each week. So it's Ollie's turn this week. So we're going to see which song Ollie would like to choose. You ready? Okay, Ollie. Which song are you going to choose? Let's see, is he going to choose Our God is a Great Big God or King of the Jungle? Let's see, Ollie. Which one's he going to go for? Oh, he went for King of the Jungle. There was a time when Jews lived in a country called Persia that was ruled by King Xerxes. 
Esther was a young and very beautiful Jewish orphan who had been raised as a daughter by her cousin Mordecai. The king decided that Esther, out of all the women in his kingdom, should be his new queen. Mordecai told Esther not to reveal she was Jewish to the king. Mordecai had an enemy close to the king named Haman. Haman disliked Mordecai because he refused to bow down to him whenever Haman passed by. Mordecai would only bow to God. Haman was so angry with Mordecai, he tricked the king into passing a law. On a certain date, Mordecai and all the other Jews in Persia would be put to death. Mordecai knew Esther was the only person the king might listen to, but Esther was scared. It was very dangerous for Esther to approach the king without his permission. But Mordecai told her she had been put close to the king by God, especially to save the Jews. Esther came up with a plan and invited the king and Haman to a banquet the next day. When Haman and the king went to Esther's banquet, the king was so pleased with what Esther had done that he agreed to grant any request she made. Esther then told the king about Haman's plot to kill her people and asked him to save them. Hang Haman, the king called in fury. And so Haman was defeated and the king passed a new law that saved the Jews from their fate. Mordecai took Haman's place as the king's favourite. God did all this through the beautiful Queen Esther. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you all enjoyed our story of Esther and I hope you're all listening because we have a bit of an activity to do now, okay? So the grown-up in your house was emailed some pictures and some sheets with numbers on them. No, I've already cut mine out and coloured them in, but that's okay if you haven't yet. You can do that afterwards. Okay, so each of our boxes have a number in them. They have the number one, the number two, and the number three, and the number four. So with our pictures, we have to decide what order they're going to go in from the story that we just listened to about Esther. Well, we've got a bit of help because we've got bit of writing beside each one to help us know what goes in which box okay so number one says esther becomes queen so we're looking for a picture that might go with that so it might have a picture of a queen in it okay well there's a queen and there's a queen in that one there's no queen in that one, and there's a queen in that one. I wonder which one it would be. Well, it just says Esther becomes queen, so I think she might be a wee bit happy if she becomes queen. So I think it might be this one. Okay, so we've got number one done. Stick it down. So number two says... Mordecai discovers danger for God's people. So we're looking for something with Mordecai in it. Okay, so not Esther. So Esther won't be in this one. Now, if he discovers danger, is he going to be happy or sad? I think he might be a wee bit sad, a wee bit worried. So we're looking for a picture with maybe Mordecai looking a wee bit worried wonder which one it is I think maybe this one what do you think yeah so we'll stick that one down now stick stick okay we're doing really well boys and girls okay so number three says Esther asks the king to spare her people okay so she's asking the king so we've only got two pictures left okay so it's going to have to be maybe a picture with the king in it. So I think it might be this one because it has a picture of the king in it. Yeah, we'll put that one down. Stick, stick. Okay, we've only got one left. We're doing really well. We've only got one left. Number four, box number four says, 
God uses Esther to bring relief to the Jews. Well, if somebody brings relief to you, it means that they might be quite happy. So we're looking for something with a smile on. And have a look, Mordecai and Esther are both smiling in that picture. So it must be that one. So let's stick our last one on. Stick, stick. And we did it, boys and girls. We put the story in order. Well done, everyone. I hope you had a lot of fun doing that. That's fantastic. Great job. Okay, boys and girls, we're almost finished our Sunday School video. We're going to end each Sunday School video with a prayer where we pray and ask God for to think about somebody or think about something, okay? So this week, I'm going to do our prayer, but I would love it if maybe you would like to join in with that. So if you think that you would like to come on the video and say a little prayer where you ask God for something or you ask him to look after someone, then you can just ask your mummies and daddies maybe to video you doing that and they can send it to me and I can put it on the video for each Sunday school week. Okay? So the first prayer I'm going to do this week. So what I need you to do is I need you to close your eyes and bow your head. So just put your head down. Okay? So we're going to close our eyes. And this week we're going to pray to God to look after all the doctors and nurses in the hospitals. Okay? So we're going to pray together. Dear God, thank you that we are able to still do Sunday school together and on video. God, we ask that you look after all our doctors and nurses in all the hospitals at the minute. And we ask that you keep them safe and keep them well. Amen. Well done, boys and girls. That was fantastic. I hope you had great fun on our first Sunday school video. Next week, we're going to be talking about a boy from the Bible. So this week, we talked about Esther, who's a girl. But next week, we're going to talk about a boy from the Bible. So I hope to see you next week. Bye.